Most people in life are looking for how to make a life worth living in retirement with having. Most of the time, we forget to involve God in our plan. And when we forget to involve God in our plan, we end up doing something stupid. We end up mouthing off on how our old military ways can control people and be in part of people's lives when they really aren't a part of your life at all. You see, we have this marvelous nation that is ever growing because of social media companies as well as game development companies that are basically saying, oh, you don't like the video games on TV now? You don't like your Xboxes and your Sony PlayStations now? Well, let's just do this. Let's make a game on a human being without them knowing. Let's take away their liberties and let's take advantage of our own. What I'm talking about today is those 3D person-to-person -person games. You sort of already have that going on with social media, where social media companies are actually giving away where your marvelous phone is today. So you might have made a trip to Michigan, and you might have moved yourself there on your own by just changing your zip code on your phone. But someone looking for you, somebody dying to see you, might just have to look you up one time, and all of a sudden they get on a page that didn't even know existed, and it's showing exactly where you're at. There's a real problem with that today. On the one hand, it allows the person who's truly trying to repair a relationship with you to find you. On the other hand, it allows some monstrous bastard who's stalking you, harming you, stealing from you, hazing you, interacting with your property banks and not telling you, to find you. So what we have to talk about today is our rights. The past election was completely, 100%, about rights. Going forward, almost every election going forward is absolutely going to be about human rights. Human rights include the absolute total, 100% right to our human bodies. The individual owns themselves. The individual gets to decide who they go to for medical care. The individual will go to a place to handle maintenance for a few months, but that doctor has no rights to declare he is their doctor for life. In time, we might gather more experience with someone in time we might gather more experience in a condition but if you're not an expert in my condition don't fucking try to tell me how to live my life if i'm not an expert in your situation and your profession in your industry i am sure as hell not going to try to tell you how to govern your life but if you're trying to market yourself i can absolutely tell you what you can do i can tell you the best way to do that is to be the best you but what we do have in our communities are people that want to interfere with their competition. There are definitely people and there are men players who like to steal words right out of someone's mouth. There are absolutely people who have organizations that are allegedly free, but they get clients out of them. And when they get someone who's coming in who's creative, who's got a lot of a lot of clout and a lot of stout, they get offended and they try to take things from them. But let me tell you, in life God repays with kindness and God repays with revenge. So what I'm encouraging everyone to do, regardless of what you do for a living, is to decide where your boundaries begin and end. Because your boundaries shifted when you left your biological family and you created your own. And in that moment of time, the only thing you're responsible to is your marvelous spouse, whoever you chose that for you, your children if you have any, your animals if you're responsible for some, and your marvelous house, and any other piece of property like your cars and whatnot that you care for and are responsible for in bills. Outside of that, how you interact with your ex-family members, people from your family of origin, your bloodline relatives, or your steps, as they call them, that is totally a negotiation. And if you can't negotiate because you're always wanting to win all the time, always wanting to lord over them, you're probably going to lose your rights to them. But even if you lose your rights to them, you don't have the right to keep pursuing them to harm them. What kind of a bastard of Satan are you if you're trying to harm someone from your biological family or the family you've created of choice? In this lifetime, we have to decide who we are as a person. And who we are as a person is completely visible to the house of the Lord. And the house of the Lord is the one that provides for you. So if you're busy trying to pound on people with their ideas and ideologies and their differences from you, you're foolish. What you should be doing is looking for affinities, looking for opportunities to create love again, and looking for opportunities to repair relationships. 